Hey, this is Dave, and this is a video on how to install the LED lighting on the Ranger 2000 plane. Now, as you can see, I have green lights on the right, red lights on the left, and a lit tail. And then on the back of the plane, I have some aviation stripes that are even brighter than the front. So the idea there is to have contrasting sides so that you don't lose orientation during flight at night. And as far as the front and back, I now have a lit section on the tail right here, lit from the inside. So what I'm going to do is show how to wire the lights in one complete session in one video, because I showed pieces of it in other videos, but I want to have one comprehensive video on how to put the lights on. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. So stay tuned. This is me RC. So the short story is you need three cables like this made up, and you can solder up these easily. Solder up two JST connectors, a male and female on each end, so you make two like that. And then you make one like this that has three JST connectors like this on one end, and then a balance port plug on the other end, and this is just one for a four cell battery. You could also use a three cell, but you're going to be picking off 12 volts from whatever battery you use. So on the splitter cable, two of the connectors go to the wings, and you use the two cables that you made up to go to the wing lights right there. So those are for the wing lights. And then the third one that's left over right here goes to the LEDs that are in the tail and the plug for that is inside the fuselage right now. Here is the plug for the tail lights right here. And here is the plug coming down from one of the wings. Now you'll notice I cut a small hole right here in the side of the fuselage and that's for this connector right here and I made the hole big enough so that this portion of the connector could go in but the bigger lip on the end could not go through. So to install the cable just put this end through the hole and then pull it out through the front near the nose. Once the end is through, you can just take the socket end and push it into the hole, but it won't go all the way in. That's as far as it'll go, since the hole is just small enough for the narrow portion of it. Do the same thing on the other side. Once they're through, you can connect up the power distribution cable. And I'm going to connect the third one to the plug from the tail LED strip. Now just plug the wing lights into the sockets on the side like this. And you're ready to test your lights with a battery. So that's the quick and easy. Now stay tuned for the details on how I got the lights into the fuselage and into the wings. And it's a four cell battery so I had to specially order those four cell balance plugs. It uh, looks like this, got it from Hobby King and that just plugs on to the balance port like that so that you can get off a uh, voltage to run the LED lights. But I wondered what this was on the end of it. I couldn't figure out why they had that connector. Still really don't know. So I cut away the heat shrink right here to expose the inside of one of them and that's what it looks like. But I do see that I need to move this wire over to this third pin here so I can get 12 volts because right now it's picking up the full voltage off a four cell battery which is too much for the LEDs. But that's it. I just thought I'd run that by you. And the part number for that, this is what it came in right here. That's what it looks like. So here's the plug converted to a 12 volt tap on a four cell battery like that just picks up three cells and uh, I had to use a exacto knife to lift this tab and pull that red wire out so that I could get this heat shrink on that's how I did that and then I'm gonna put this green heat shrink over the whole thing and it'll end up looking more like this one although I think the heat shrink is gonna go beyond this plug a little bit because I'm I'm not going to really use that and I don't think I want it exposed so I'm just going to cover it up totally with the green heat shrink. I've decided to go ahead and mount some LEDs on the front edge of the wings. I've cut a slit right along the front edge 
and I'm going to put these in facing forward. So kind of sideways like this, but facing forward. Now these LEDs protrude out a little bit, so they won't go right down into the slot easily. So I think I'm going to have to widen the slot with a barbecue skewer. Just go down in there and drag this along and make sure that slot's wide enough. And I found I need to give the LEDs a little help going into the slot by using a barbecue skewer to just kind of wallow a little opening around them. And then just push them down in there. You can see how I've already done this section right here. Now I'm also adding some parallel wires here to go through the wing. And I'm going to put a small strip on the bottom in three different places. Just sort of aviation stripes. So I'll have three of them on the bottom. I've got the last set of wires or the third set soldered on the end here coming through the bottom. So there's the aviation stripes on the bottom right there. And then on the front edge we have the red. There were a couple of LEDs that I lost here because a resistor fell off. So I lost three, a set of three right there. But it still looks good. And here is the right hand wing in green. Really looks sharp. Okay, I'm working on some LEDs to put along inside the fuselage right here in the tail. So what I'm doing is soldering together groups of three LEDs. Three of them going one way and three of them going the other. So they're alternating like that. See, there's three on the back and three going towards the front like that. And all I do is just uh, remove a little bit of the cardboard from each piece and stick them together back to back and then solder little wires around them. Here's the basic process. Just peel back a little piece of the cardboard, cut it off, and then do the same thing on the other strip. What you want to make sure is the voltages line up. So on this side we have 12 volts up here, so we want 12 volts to go this way on the back side. 12 volts, 12 volts. So the 12 volts lines up and the ground lines up. Okay, now I'm just going to peel a piece of cardboard off this and stick the two together. And there it is. You can see the 12 volts is lined up to the 12 volts. Now I'll just go ahead and tin the pads with a little solder solder to both sides. Okay, next I'm just going to solder on a piece of phone wire, copper phone wire. Always looks better when you can do it off camera. Just snip it off and then I'll bend that around, solder it on the other side. Same thing over here. I'm going to solder another piece here, cut it, and then bend it around. Now this may be kind of hard to see on camera, but you just take the piece of wire, bend it over like that. Do both of them. And then we'll go ahead and solder them down. Okay, it's done. There's both sides. Okay, now we'll just check it with a 9-volt battery to make sure everything's good so far. And it works. I have soldered on some more phone wire here for the leads. Put it inside some heat shrink tubing. And now I'm going to shrink it with my heat gun. And there is the finished product. Ready to go into the fuselage. I only have one wing on, but that's the basic idea with lights. Of course, the other wing will be green, as we know, and it has blue lights underneath both wings. So you may be wondering how I got the LED strip into the tail section of the plane. Well, there's actually a hole right here that I cut to install the Easy UHF antenna 
So I just use that same hole to shove in a long piece of heat shrink tubing all the way to the nose. Then I tape the LED strip right on the end of the heat shrink tubing and then pulled it back through here until I got the heat shrink tubing about right in here somewhere, the end of it. And then I just folded the heat shrink tubing around and cut it off and taped it on here with some foil tape. And that holds the LED strip in place. Also the tape acts as a skid plate to keep the dirt off the end of the plane. So stay tuned for the next video. I suspect it's going to be some flight footage. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox. Thanks for watching.